the Leica Butterfly Novices Chase is next. It's a two and a half mile maiden Novices Chase. At the top, we've got Because We Can Royal or Jamie Golan's Clarence Damage, Jamie Hopkins for Greyburn, Jim Murray, Ortia Abbey, Matt Cooper, Paige Green, Martin Lingham, Joan Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, Radiant Hartley on Van Rensburg, Seagold, David Hooley, and the Miss for Joshua Sutherland. They're called in and away. Heading towards the first of the fences with Paige Green and Domes of Panga on the outside of the Miss. Reversely three in a line, Domes of Panga pulling for its head. Again, just a one grey in the field. That's Jim Murray's this time for Greyburn. They get to the first, and Paige Green really attacked that and got away from it well. So Paige Green then has opened up into a three or four end lead from Radiant Heart in second. In Domes of Panga in third. And Tier Abbey is fourth. In the Miss. Because we can Royal. Because we can Royal, actually. Uh, the leader went right through that. Paige Green. Jumping at all well. Subsequently surrendered. That four length advantage down to just half a length. And Domes of Panga jumped that ditch much better. And it's got back into a two length lead, short run to the fourth. And Paige Green continuing to lead. Or Tier Abbey is now second. And Radiant Heart third with the miss there on this near side fourth. In comes Clarence Damage. Domes of Panga on its outside. Ford Greyburn is next. And because we can Royal and finally Sea Gold. Is the back mark of a David Hooley. And Paige Green then back into a four or five length lead again. Gets into number five, gets over it well. Or Tier Abbey second. Oh, no, Tier Abbey made a mistake there on that one. Paige Green now extended the lead to six or seven lengths. So they computed the first mile. And Paige Green is clear of the miss in second, Domes of Panga third, and Radiant Heart and Clarence Damage, and Sea Golden or Tier Abbey. Fort Greyburn, and because we can, Royal is now the back marker. So up the straight they go. That's the stand. And past the winning post. Off for a complete circuit of the track. With Paige Green in the lead. The miss in second. Clarence damages in third. So I take that one. Pushing away from the stand. Paige Green still winning. Quite a one on the track, hasn't bothered getting across to the rail. And he's probably giving the miss a little bit of an advantage up that inside in second. And gap back then to Radiant Heart in third. In Domes of Panga. And Sea Gold as they take the next and there's a fall there, it's Radiant Heart's gone. Radiant Heart's gone for Leon van Rensburg, so no surprise there as the miss goes into the lead. For Josh. And with Paige Green second. And this time it was the miss who gave it a bit of a wallop. Which has allowed Paige Green to regain the lead. As they come down to the Fourth from home, final ditch, I think that is. And Paige Green is just about back in front again from the miss in second. This is the third last. Paige Green from the miss. And a gap to Sea Golden Domes of Panga. And then all Tier Abbey Fort Greyburn is trying to run on as they head down towards the final couple of fences in now. Paige Green is still in the lead from the miss in second. Gap back to Sea Gold in third. Then comes Domes of Panga and all Tier Abbey heading down towards this second last fence in now. Paige Green's been in the lead pretty much all the way. Comes down to the second last with a lead of about three lengths. Go over the second last. A better jump though by Domes of Panga. Also Sea Gold starting to run on over the final fence and Paige Green landed in the lead but there's a two and a half furlong running to go and it's Paige Green in front from Seagold in second. Domes of Panga coming round the outside. Then comes Ortia Abbey. The miss looks beaten. Inside the final two then now. And it's Paige Green still in the lead. But Seagold is starting to get closer. And Seagold is wearing down the leader. Paige Green's got nothing left but in the lead all the way. And he's now beaten. Seagold goes past her. So too does Domes of Panga. It's Seagold in the lead. Domes of Panga in second. The miss will run into third. As they race up towards the line then now. It's got to be Seagold from the Domes of Panga. And Seagold takes it 
it down to Panga second and misses third. Page Green just adds on to fall from Ortega Rabbit and then Fort Greyburn and Clarence damage and because we can Royale at the back. And Page Green was gonna hang on, but that long running was too much for her. And was usurped as Seagull takes it. Oh, David Hooley. Domes of Panga second for Darren Thompson. The miss was third for Joshua Sutherland. Page Green for Martin Leland was fourth. Adult Tier Abbey for Matt Cooper was fifth.